all my stuff is demonetized. Everything, writing, all the channels I maintain are all demonetized. I thought it would be cool to do this as a way that people who do support me can get something in return. Um, I just spent all week working on this. Many hours went into updating this and adding new features. So I'm going to show how easy it is. Once you, All you have to do is download the image and then you flash it to an SD card you place it in your single board computer uh, right now it's a Pi image for the moment uh, it's the one I started with about a year ago and it is for Raspberry Pis and I figure most people have one of those and all you have to do is flash it to the SD card and at that point you can log in with your television set I include an HDMI converter cord so you can simply log into your television set or you can SSH over and everything will happen automated on that first login as I'm about to show you now including the generation of the onion itself so of course you can customize the settings when you first log in, and this happens on the first login, and everything's set up from there on, and you don't have to worry about ever using the login ever again if you don't want to. You can then use the next cloud, or you can use the Onion router as well. It as well as a changing, you know, Mac identity on each reboot for the Wi-Fi access point, and you could set this SSID to something nice and generic, and that way you can help protect your privacy even more by blending in, and each reboot will be a new. SSID Mac. So let's go ahead and choose a password for it and the access point name. Let's go ahead and call it access point. Pretty generic there. Now it's creating everything. The next cloud hidden service and it looks like everything in Tor was successful. We can just hit Q there, resizing our disk size, and everything has been generated. We now have a new Onion address and our brand new Tor Hidden Service. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that just so you can see there's a little bit of a new layout. I put a lot of work into optimizing NextCloud to load as fast as possible as an Onion. Because NextCloud can be a heavy application, there's a lot of different edits and changes I needed to make in PHP and NextCloud to get this running as perfectly as possible. And as you can see, there's blocking of the Intel management ports by default. One thing people don't realize about Intel Management Engine is it usually comes with an Intel Wi-Fi card and that bypasses your entire ability to see those packets locally on the machine that Intel Management Engine is running on. It runs underneath everything and at the minus three ring. And so that makes no sense and it, there is no use trying to monitor or block from that local computer you need to block it at the router in order to block Intel Management Engine but you can also do different types of modifications like Core Boot or Liber Boot so let's go ahead and make a new password of course it make sure you change to a safer new password on your first login and go to that onion address and at that point we should have our next cloud onion ready to log into and as you can see I changed the layout a bit so this is the previous it's pretty close but I thought it'd be nice to have a little change so we're gonna log in now I just clicked log in it's gonna log in it's gonna bring us to our dashboard if you haven't used next cloud it's an excellent cloud service self hosting is the best way you can protect your privacy I've put a lot of work into this and if you want to support my channel, my writing and get something in return, you know, of course, more than happy to make sure, you know, no matter where you are technically that you get everything set up here. Extensive in the amount of hops that it gives you in between when you have a hidden service. It's also end-to-end -end encrypted, which is what makes hidden services special. This means you don't have to depend on anyone else for your encryption. In fact, when you do that first PNET login I just demonstrated, you are the one who generates the encryption keys, and you are the one who keeps the private key. And the public key is actually the onion address. So that's another little tip about that so when you first log in you get something like this and you can go over to talk where you can have end-to-end -end encrypted chats with friends you can add people to your cloud and you can add apps take apps away 
and as an administrator you can customize it really any way you want. This is the default layout. I wanted to offer something that had a little bit of aesthetic appeal and something I thought looked good and that's what we've got today. Everything stays on the server. You can also add encryption, server side, and you can locally encrypt the files therein. In fact, you can have that tied directly to the username password for each different account on the cloud. I love using it. I personally just really love using it and I figured, you know, something I really love is something I want to offer to people who take the time to support my work and uh, of course if you ever supported my work there's all there's an older image out there that's available to anyone who's ever even had it, donated a five dollar coffee and of course I take cryptocurrency as well but this newest image is something I'm offering just as a service because I'm also offering help getting you in there so you're kind of getting support in the process I'm actually making sure you get everything set up properly and um, offering a couple tips along the way so that's what I have today guys I wanted to share this as a video just so you kind of understand what it is I'm offering and why I'm offering it uh, I help support the work as I mentioned everything I do is completely demonetized you know I don't get you know I don't I don't you know have monetization on YouTube or anywhere else on the writing uh, everything is based on donations I am eligible for YouTube monetization I just I uh, thought it would be cooler and better and I want to be upfront unbiased and I want to just retain my independence there. So if you want to support my work and get something unique in the process, uh, make sure to send me an email right to privacy at tutanota.com or just simply visit the main blog page and check that out there. Appreciate all of you watching this video. And everyone who supported me, everyone who follows me, I'm almost to 2,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is a pretty great milestone. It's been a while. I've been working on this channel for two years now. Uh, of course, I know it's more difficult when you're offering, you know, legitimate privacy information. I try to also offer Linux help and Linux tips as well, as well as other open source based stuff hope to see you guys in the comments make sure to like share and subscribe and i'll be back later with more on linux open source and how to protect your privacy